Thank you. Ah, good afternoon. How was the lunch? <laughs> good one? Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll, I'm going to talk about interesting use of Linux. Uh, actually, how commercial enterprises use Linux. So not surprising I'm going to talk about Linux, but uh, more than just the Linux logo, the kernel logo, about the whole distribution. Actually, distribution is a set of uh, multiple binaries which um, come from different projects. So the edit value of distribution is that it's all glued together and it works together. And then some uh, companies have decided to rely a lot on, on, on this. First interesting thing I found is the new Super MUC uh, computer really really large one uh, which is going uh, which is now installed in Leibniz super Compu computing center and it has really uh, really big computing power and uh, it has uh, over 150,000 computing cores that's really something they uh, plan to operate this thing for next five years for scientific uh, computations. So for next five years they really need a reliable system and they chose Linux. Another thing is uh, uh, London Stock Exchange. Uh, this company uh, has chosen Linux to run their uh, uh, run uh, well as an operating system for running their uh, trading operation uh, applications which are prepared by a different, uh, different company. And also this company uh, relies on, on Linux as the underlying operating system. And they will rely on it for quite lo quite long time. Another thing, uh, our favorite reference customer is the German air traffic control. Uh, these guys uh, built uh, the uh, air traffic control system uh, on top of Linux. It's the Th Phoenix thing. And uh, it uh, actually uh, takes the data from radar, uh, from various the radars uh, uh, around the country, and uh, present it uh, to, to the operator who make decisions uh, uh, how to schedule the flights or schedule landing and things like this. And this, um, you can imagine, uh, it's very um, strict or regulated uh, industry. They need uh, absolute reliability. So all these systems are doubled and and it works. They are able to operate uh, the German air traffic control. And if you flew uh, to Prague over Germany, part uh, of your flight was navigated using Social Linux or using software on top of Social Linux. Next one. Uh, this thing is uh, really interesting. This and group uh, make uh, steel sheets, specialized steel, electric uh, steel, uh, which is used for uh, any uh, generators or motors or uh, transformers. S from this steel, these uh, transformer laminations are, are made. It's used um, a lot. And this company produces this, and they are very strict in quality control. They, uh, in the production line, they uh, do quality checks of the steel sheets uh, in the production line. And in some production lines, uh, the steel sheets uh, travel at very high speed, up to 68 kilometers per hour. It's, it's really fast. And uh, in real time, they measure 200 values on every single meter of the steel sheet. They really need uh, uh, real-time uh, processing of the large amounts of data. And they uh, chose Linux and they chose a specialized version of the commercial Linux, uh, so-called real-time extension. And they really uh, built a quality control system on top of this. And it really works. And these guys, you can see it's manufacturing industry. They are doing it to large amounts, and likely they do not have very high margin on, on their on their uh, products. So they need to run it a really long time before uh, the solution pays itself. So again, long time thing. 
And now that are the uh, reference customers, so uh, uh, the names are public. Yet we have uh, other uh, interesting uses, but uh, these things are going to be without uh, customer names. This is telecommunication industry. One of the um, uh, telecommunication equipment manufacturers uh, chose to uh, put Linux into the phone exchanges, large, like the large ones for the plain old telephone service. So they have uh, cards in it, which are basically uh, specialized PC, uh, com uh, PC, PCs. It's compatible with PC, but it's specialized hardware. And these things uh, do uh, routing decisions. So if you make, uh, make a call, uh, there is software which decides how to route the call through the network. It runs off the, on top of uh, Linux. Another one, and uh, again, air, uh, aerospace industry. Uh, one, uh, another customer uh, actually built a, a sort of flight simulator on top of Linux. But it's not just a flight simulator. It actually simulates whole aircraft. All its subsystems, all its processors, they can actually try out the, uh, the aircraft before the first part is manufactured. Because they have a software capable of simulating every single thing, including the aerodynamic, aerodynamics and and actual behavior of the, of the aircraft, and they have really large uh, cluster uh, built on top of, uh, built using Linux. And last thing, another uh, sort of extreme use of uh, of Linux. Uh, it's the electronic uh, stock trading. Uh, one of the uh, we had the London Stock Exchange. They process the transactions, and this company actually does the transactions. The electronic really fast trading, where even milliseconds count. I think they are obliged to um, uh, carry out the transaction within 150 milliseconds, or really really short, short time. It's, uh, it's actually ruled by role. So these, these uh, guys really managed to, to tune normal Linux to be able to process uh, the transaction that fast. And as you can see, there are uh, really, really large um, investments of effort uh, into systems which run on top of Linux. Many of these systems cannot even be really support, easily ported to uh, somewhere else. So these guys really rely on Linux, and they build big things on top of it. So what do they need? First, they need uh, help when something like this stops their production system, and they need uh, help really fast. So they truly need uh, someone uh, who understands the system in depth, and is here to help them. And actually, they are uh, they are uh, paying for that. That's the, the merit of of the business uh, relationship. And second thing is, not only when they get into trouble to get help, they would like to pr uh, to uh, prevent the trouble. So. Every software has uh, known, uh, known problems, uh, Linux as well, and we uh, release updates for it, and they really want to get the updates, proactive updates. Before they hit the bug, they want to have it fixed. Before uh, someone exploits the security uh, um, vulnerability, they want to have it, uh, have it, fixed, it fixed it. And they need this for a long time. Long time. What does it mean? Here is the release schedule of OpenSUSE. Uh, here we go from uh, 2006, from uh, SUSE Linux 10.1, and uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise, the enterprise distribution was uh, based on 10.1. Ten, uh, ten then uh, as, as time progressed, 11.1 uh, was the base for uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise 11, and we have now this OpenSUSE uh, 12, but we do not have yet um, uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise 12. It's, it's yet in, 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 in planning phase. 
and these enterprise things uh, list on their own schedule from that time on. And you can see the support for these uh, distributions is, is really long, planned for the next 10 years. And frankly speaking, some customers have already bought uh, contracts uh, uh, until 2020. So they really want to run uh, SUSE Linux Enterprise uh, for next 10, eight, for next eight years. And they want support for it. That are typical banks. They are very conservative. So as you can see, uh, despite uh, the enterprise distribution is based uh, on, uh, on open source distribution in the beginning, it lives uh, its own life uh, later on. Okay, so that were the most interesting points. What's the uh, point of that all? Uh, of that all? Linux is no longer a toy. You, could, you can see it's uh, used in really um, mission critical uh, situations. Air flight control, uh, production line uh, control. Even uh, in automotive uh, industries, they use uh, Linux-based systems to uh, control the production lines. Then it's a big problem when there is production out, uh, outage because they lose lots of money. Second is, uh, of course, there is the commercial companies have, have different needs and uh, there are other commercial companies uh, which fulfill the needs. And last thing is, this couldn't uh, happen without you. You can take pride in this success, because what would Linux be without uh, its users and contributors? So, thank you. <laughs> and yeah, that was uh, the short introduction into, into the uh, enterprise Linux. Here come credits uh, to the uh, nice uh, guys who shared their uh, pictures on Flickr. Well, any questions? No questions? Well, sometimes people uh, are, uh, wonder how uh, actually how much uh, costs uh, enterprise support. So the prices range uh, usually from three hundred dollars per server and year uh, up to uh, one hundred uh, one thousand five hundred uh, dollars per per year, and these are for the le uh, less common architectures like Itanium. Uh, there are also discounts on uh, longer term uh, contracts, and of course, if you call these salespeople, you will get a better offer. So that's it. <laughs> All right, if there are no more questions, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thanks for your attention. We'll continue with the next talk in about 15 minutes.